morning. Project today is an old town Stern Square canoe. Several years ago, I left it out in the winter when I had a heavy snow load on it. And this crack right here was the result. Today we're going to try to get it repaired. Take a look at the opposite side there. So it basically buckled. From this side. Never memorized which is port and starboard. So. Basically, the first step was to clamp the, clamp the 1x4s to the gunnels to maintain the proper shape. And now we've got to form up, tighten up the seam and do some sanding. Uh, in order to uh, keep the outside as smooth as possible, I've attached some plywood here, drilled through it and the hole in order to pull the seam flush on both sides. Take a look at the other side. Got a fair amount of sanding to do to get it prepped for the fiberglass. But I've got the seam pretty well lined up. Well, between sanders and a wire wheel, this is what we've got the scene done to. So, worked on doing some of the fiberglassing. Three layers of glass and resin. This one's not looking all that great when you get away from the crack. Crack doesn't look as bad. I have to do some sanding after that cures. This size nut doesn't look quite so dramatic, but I also have to do some sanding on here. Once this cures, I'm going to take those screws out. And I'll probably leave, and I'll be probably leaving the washers and the nuts in there. Embedded in the fiberglass. Today, remove the. Uh, plywood from the outside so you can see how that turned out now I've got to sand and put another layer of fiberglass on here on the other side I've already started doing the sanding taking it down basically taking the paint off is what I've done you can see if I remnants the paint where the crack was before. I've got a little bit of work to do here on an old one. The crack that was in it before we even bought the canoe. And then we'll sand the other side. Well, here we are after about another hour worth of sanding. This side prepped. And I did a little more on this side as well. So 
Two hours of sanding. Now it's time to cut the cloth. Okay, I got the pieces of fiberglass cut out here and ready to apply. I'm not going to be recording while I'm applying this because it's way too messy. Even though I'll have protective gloves on, the camera won't. Here we go. One layer of glass bedded down on the outside. That gives us four layers total of glass added to the size of the canoe. That should strengthen it up pretty well. Hopefully Tomorrow should be able to sand it and get rid of all the extra fibers and then uh, prime it. The canoe does need a full sanding and paint job, but it needs to get in the water in four days. So the main concern is to get it seaworthy right now. Well, I did not, I did not get any pictures of the canoe in the water. I was afraid of tipping the canoe or dropping cameras, so I didn't actually have the camera with me when we were canoeing with it. My son and daughter-in-law down the St. Croix River in the St. Croix River State Park area of Minnesota. Report is that it is seaworthy. It still was weeping a teeny bit of water, but that could be from a different crack from the ones I worked on. So, a little more work, a little more sanding, and we might have something that's not quite as ugly. We'll never be a beautiful canoe anymore, but we'll work on it some more another day. But it can be used right now, and that was the main goal. Thank you for watching.